Good morning, Meadow, Utah. Maybe I should film it with my face in the shadow. So puffy. Um, so now it's morning at the hot springs. Got to dip in before it gets too hot out. So here I am with my snorkel. Don't go anywhere without a snorkel. It's very important. on cool on my skin but not too cold it's like being at the beach in the morning and then, yeah here's the smaller pool it's not even really that small it's like huge holy shit Looks to be about 15 feet deep or so. Oh, there's little fishes in it. I think there was fishes in the other one too. Ooh. Ooh. Tropical fishes. I heard that there was tropical fish in these, but I did not. No, this one's not as warm, at least not in this part. Ugh. Oh yeah, it's getting warmer near the the vent. I don't know if that's a vent down there. I don't see any movement, but it feels warmer near the big part. That's what I mean. Just snorkeling along. And I see everyone's worst nightmare. A snake at the water's edge. It's uh, in there area. You. But it lives in these rocks all the time.
So my overall impression of Meadow Hot Springs is a positive one. The people are pretty chill. There's uh, just been some young couples mostly and no uh, weird single nudist old dudes, no drunks or party animals. So it's been a good time. in a donation because this was a very nice spot. I had to sleep in this parking lot last night because I couldn't find anywhere else to camp. The Craters of the Moon National Monument was full which I should have known but for some reason I didn't think it would be because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere but anything you name a national monument is uh gonna get a lot of traffic these days um i don't even think i'm gonna go in and look at craters of the moon because it just i've seen lava landscapes before and they look kind of like what's in front of me here with some bigger rocks and caves and stuff but i'm uh, not in a very good mood because my ears all plugged up with hot spring swamp water or something so hopefully that resolves itself today we're right on the side of the road here just to pull off here between mile points 14 214 and 215 on highway 20 outside of between Cary and Arco nine miles east of Cary Idaho about part way, halfway, I don't know. So I think it's like 15 more miles to Craters of the Moon National Monument. Um, now that it's morning time, I can see that there might be some places uh, between Craters of the Moon and here that you could also pull over and camp that are better than my place, but you know how you can't see dirt roads, little dirt roads in the Middle of the night. Beautiful sunflowers. Here is the pool. It's very big. It's very clear right now with no one in it. And uh, it's pretty warm. Supposedly this side, on this side of the bridge, is fairly hot. This side is like the kind that you can stay in for hours. It's like 100 degrees or so. Um, it kind of gets colder toward that end. So some people like it really hot, but this is like the kind that, like when it's really hot, you go in and then you get hotter and hotter and hotter and you start taking more of your, more of your body out. This is the kind where you go in and it's like, oh, that's not hot. And then you slowly warm up over the course of half an hour or so.